Parkers, we took a little road trip today and we are on the banks of the majestic Hudson River. Look at that behind me, isn't that just stunning? It is a beautiful spring day, it's about 60 degrees and we're doing some mudlarking on the shores of the Hudson. Um, tide is just going out, the tide was high at 8.30, there's my mum, actually you can't see, let me turn around. Mum and Millie are over there somewhere behind me maybe you can see them i don't know sorry um so i've been wanting to come to the hudson since last summer since we were in the beacon area um this is a really old part of the palisades parkway we're actually in new jersey and there's a what's called the carney house or in alpine new jersey um and there's been activity and boat building and homes and trade here for several hundred years probably oh and there's my first bit of sea glass um so sorry <laughs> i get myself disorganized but i just found my first bit of sea glass um yeah so there's been activity here for several hundred years and we are just going to see if we can find anything washed up in the tide this this time so I will just wander around and see what's, uh, see what's going on. I might, uh, it's very cool. I might turn the camera off. Oh, now you're just staring straight down. I might turn the camera off until we find something or we get to an area that's more interesting. I can tell you guys some stuff, but um, yeah, let's see what we got. It's exciting. Just did this little air, little beach area here. We just did, found a ton of little, obviously 18th century, very well-worn little fragments of glass. So that kind of bodes well for where we are. Here's, um, here's an eyes only find that uh, will be staying right here. Someone lost an old Vans. And I think Millie and my mum are about to have a fight with a couple of Canada geese who don't seem to be too happy about us coming their way. They're probably nesting. Look at this beautiful, beautiful river. Oh, there's a, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a big factory, like right where my finger is right now. Some kind of old factory over there. And we definitely can't see it, but down that way is the George Washington Bridge. So, all right, let's keep going. So here's a cool site. There's actually another waterfall further back, but there's a bunch of people having lunch near it, so I didn't really want to um, disturb them. But there's a very, I don't know if I'm picking it up actually. There's a waterfall right here. Hopefully I'm picking it up. But I was just saying, and I don't know if I caught it on, um, I don't know if I caught it last time, so I'm going to re-say it, but down that way, all the way down there is the George Washington Bridge in New York City. Those are the geese that were yelling at us. Um, and then up that way is the Tappan Zee Bridge, so we're kind of, you know, mid... mid. I think it's a mid-Hudson, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but it looks like we might actually be coming to an end of where we can walk here, which is a little disappointing. I thought we could go further than this, but... We'll just head the other way, we'll head south, and if we head south, we might get a view of the GWB, which would be cool. Um, and the tide is going out, so as the tide goes out, hopefully we'll start finding some more good stuff. So that is the end, yeah, that is the end of the path and as far as we can walk. But with the tide going out, we can have a a quick look around here, see if we can find anything. So, who knows? It was funny, I didn't ever expect to find a piece of a clay pipe, or even, actually didn't expect to find a clay pipe, let alone even a piece of a clay pipe. And in Beacon, I found a fragment of a clay pipe, and it was an older clay pipe. It still had the, um, the bowl, portion part of it attached. I think I showed it in an earlier video. Um, but the bowl, you could tell the angle on the bowl. So the angle of the bowl 
and the size of the bowl is really helpful for dating. Um, know what this is. Can you see that? I'm not sure if that's just a very round stone or it's actually something. It could be just a very round stone, but I'll keep it, see if we can figure anything out. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the, the angle of the clay pipe and the size of the bowl is how you can date clay pipes. I think the one I found was in the early 1800s. It was, it was a later one. The older they are, the smaller the bowl. I don't know what that is, but I thought it was poop. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that there. I don't need to bring home poop. This piece it's not glass. Is that glass? A piece of flint, maybe? Oh. Yeah, that's a little piece of... Oh, it's a bottleneck. You can just make out the the neck right there. So that's a little tiny old piece of glass. Let's see, the shiny piece right here is a new, relatively recently dropped. Someone in a hundred years will pick that up and it's nice and worn. Uh, so, it's such a warm day. It rained all day yesterday and it was fairly chilly and today we came out and I didn't know what to wear. So I've got layers on, sweatshirt. I'm going to be taking the sweatshirt off in a minute because it is pretty warm. I also wasn't sure if on the on the Hudson here if it was going to be breezy. Well, There's a nice breeze, but it is not unpleasant. It's a lovely day. Lovely day on the Hudson. Wish I was on the Thames, but maybe one day. See if there's anything around here. Yeah, there's a piece of really old, old thick glass right here. And if I'm showing that, there's a nice old piece of glass. I think I'm probably going to be finding a lot of just sea glass, basically, river glass. Oh no, there's a piece of old ceramic right there. Just, just white, but it's an old rim shard of a ceramic plate. Another piece of glass here. It's cool. Yeah. So I'll just keep poking around. And then I'm going to go as far as I can on this little area. And then what we'll do is we're going to walk south. Hi, geese. See, these guys are checking out. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing on my turf, lady? Sorry, guys. I'm just looking. If you see anything, let me know. And, uh, oh, that's pretty. She didn't bring my trowel, and I'm wondering if I should have brought my trowel. Now, there's another piece of, uh, another nice piece of, big piece of glass there. That's pretty modern glass. It's blue. Oh, there's a little piece of blue ceramic. Yeah. this. Who knows what that is. That looks something mechanical. Probably leave that there. Oh wow. You see, I don't know if you can see those hawks up there. Beautiful hawk circling. Don't worry, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be lunch, guys. Some of the beautiful things around here, which is hawks and the, the wildlife you see is just stunning. I just I went and just before I peered up into the sky to see those hawks, I did spot a big piece of green sea... Well, that's a little piece of green sea glass. But I did... Oh, there it is. You see it? Oop, you spot it right here. A nice big piece of green sea glass. Let's have a look at this little, tiny little 
kind of beachy area. So as you can see, the tide is probably pretty high, actually. It looks like it was all the way up to the, that rock wall. So this is the Palisades. You can't see it from here, but the Palisades are amazing. Um, so that's where we are. We're just at the bottom of the Palisades, New Jersey. Woo! I nearly fell in the bloody river. Um, and we came as the tide was heading out, so hopefully we'll find something cool in here. A lot of, uh, a lot of old brick. This is old. Oh, actually, is that brick? Is that just some kind of red rock? There's a lot of that red rock around here. I don't know anything about rocks, so if you guys know anything about rocks, and you know what that red rock is, um, leave, ooh, leave a comment below and let me know. Um, I'm not seeing any glass here or any ceramic, so I keep wondering. Probably can't go much further than what we see here, but we'll keep having a keep having a poke around. It's very cool. Oh, there's another big lump of green. Uh, yeah, another piece of green glass. That's pretty. There's another piece of glass. I'm doing a glass finding video, guys. I don't know how exciting this one's going to be, but we're going to try various locations up and down the river here, see if we can find a good spot. What's that? Oh, it's an oyster shell. I'm not sure where my camera's pointing every time I bend down, so I'm sorry if you're feeling a bit seasick right now. But I think we need to get down by the water's edge here. Big old piece of glass right there. Yeah, that's a big piece. There's a cigarette, which I guess is the modern day equivalent of a, uh, oh no, it's not a cigarette, it looked like one. It's just a piece of bark from a tree, sorry. My bad. Um, but I guess finding a cigarette is the modern day equivalent of finding a clay pipe, All right? Okay, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. It was just at this spot I saw, and if you can see this piece of glass right here, it is pretty wedged in here. So I'm not sure I'll be able to get it out, but I feel like if it's pretty wedged in, it's probably an older piece. And just happened to look up and found this piece. So this is um, this is actually a drinking glass. So you can see there's pattern on it and then this is the top of the drinking glass so we might actually be able to identify this piece of glass so that's cool anyway I'm going to keep poking at this piece see if I can get this one out I don't know it's probably I don't know if I will be able to without you know cutting my finger off but yeah let's see if we can get this piece out If I can get this rock out, there we go. That might help loosen this piece. I don't know. Okay. 
Actually, it seems like it might be quite a big piece of glass. Definitely been there a long time. I don't think I'm going to get that one out. I don't want to dig too much. Oh well. We'll keep looking. So when you're looking for clay pipes, looking for unfortunately when they're in well when they're in the mud in the Thames they go black um, because of the, the mud I don't know if it's the same here because this is quite sandy um, so I don't know if it's the same anaerobic mug that there is on the Thames the what's that? oh it's a little plant um, so the pipes when they've been in the mud for a long time they're black and then when they hit the air in about a few hours you know, about 24 hours probably. They they go pure white again, like they were white from the day they were made. Oh, here's a nice piece of old pottery. So that is very old pottery. You can just see the pattern on here. So that's cool. So yeah, so I'm looking for just sparkles of white to see if I can see any white coming through. Um, not so far. But you never know. I think I'm going to have to be turning back soon. Maybe I'll have a look in that little beachy area if I can get there. My knee doesn't give out. I'll break my neck. My mum would have a heart attack if I fall. She's got the dog and she won't be able to come over here. And I... But I think we're good. Yep, we made it. We came quite far. I see something blue, but it's probably a plastic lid. I don't get in trouble for this. I don't think I will. But if I do, you live and learn, right? I see other people, other mudlarks, talking about coming down here, so I'm hoping where I am is okay. I don't see any signs saying do not go this way so anyway I'm about to just give this little area a look over and then head back. Like I said we'll go head south see what we can see if there's any little beaches on the southern side of the house and yeah just keep keep looking. The shadow is kind of in the way. It's in a lot of newer green glass, which I'm like, it's probably a Heineken bottle. <laughs> green beer bottles. Oh, this is a nice little, nice little spot. It's cleaned off. I'm dying for a trip to Dead Horse Bay soon. Because uh, the weather's warming up. There's another piece of ceramic here. Whoop. Another rim piece of ceramic. And you see that? Just a uh, plain white ceramic. So that's not going to be easy to identify. But we'll put it in the bag. Um, I would imagine all of these rocks just fall off these cliffs. You can't see it. But this goes probably, I don't even want to hazard a guess. I'm, I'm not good at guessing heights, but it goes really high into these amazing looking palisade type cliff, cliff structures. If I can't get them on camera, I'll um, post a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But they're pretty stunning. Oh, there's a piece of glass. Is that new? Uh, I don't think so. That's not really thick. Wow, that's a thick piece of glass. That's real thick. That's cool. Put that in the bag. Well, no coins, no pipes, a lot of glass and a few bits of ceramic. 
But to be honest, I'm quite happy with the sea glass. It's uh, still an old find. Always look for things that are round. It's another piece of glass. Does that have a pattern on it, or is that just? broken. It's just a chip. I have a quick look up here and then looks like that's as far as we can go. I think I just spotted another piece of ceramic. Yep, a little piece of ceramic there. Well, this is where the red rocks come from, I guess. <laughs> Solve that mystery. Because you can see the, the rock here is red and then it's gray. I think, is that sedimentary rock when it goes in layers like that? What's this? Oh. Is that? That's a funny shape, but it's probably just something off the cliff. I think it's rock. That looks like a piece of tile. Yeah, this is as far as we go. See, it's kind of curving around the corner there. So this is as far as we can go, but let's just take one quick look around here. It is by a little piece of green glass right here. It's definitely older because it's nice and thick. Oh, that's kind of cool. Don't miss that. Might keep that. It's got a. I don't know if that hole was chiseled through by somebody or if that's just a a water action. But that's kind of cool. Definitely going to keep that. It's another really pretty oyster shell there. Oh, it's it's still an oyster. You can stay there. You're still alive, guy. I'll leave you in the water. I'll put you over here so you can stay in the water a bit longer. Maybe. There you go. Oh, and there's a rim piece of a bottle. It's an interesting piece of wood. So this is it, that's as far as we get. So, a quick mooch around here. Um, not really seeing anything. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit guys and head back to Millie and Mum. And when we get to a new spot, we will turn everything back on. So, <laughs> I'm back at the original beach. I can't seem to find Millie or my mum. So I'm heading to see where they've disappeared to. But I'm back on the original beach, and as you can see, the tide is um, starting to go out more aggressively. But as I was here, I stopped at this little spot, and this is what looks like a, a piece of an old glass button. Let me, if I can flip it over, you can see that's like, it looks like a little piece of a glass button. And I found some more little uh, glass. Found a lot of green obviously brown, clear, but I did find a really bright cobalt blue there, which I was pretty thrilled about. I just spotted another piece of glass here. I thought I saw something else yeah, there. 
and that's an unusual piece. Got some, it's got some pattern on that one, some design. So yeah, I think the best thing I found so far was that piece of button. But you never know. Keep looking. Uh, I would like to find my mum and my dog because I'm not quite sure where they just disappeared to. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's pretty modern. I think that's plastic. Um, yeah, I'm going to go muddle arc the family, see if I can find them. If I stop being distracted by pieces of glass. Uh, it's not that old, but looks good. Oh, that looks like an older piece. That's like an older piece. Uh, is it? It's unusual. That's like a... I don't know. It's very aqua when you turn it on its side. I'll keep that. What else we got here? So I'm trying out my new road microfilms. It's my first time out in the field, as they say. Um, with these, oh, it's like a little shard of ceramic here. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the audio sounds like. I guess we'll find out when I get home and try and make a video out of this. So fingers crossed for some decent sounding audio. I have my dead cat on there to help with the wind because it's a little breezy. It's not too bad, but it's a little breezy. And these are the old moorings here. I don't know how long, they're not that old, but they're pretty, pretty weathered. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's it for this side of the beachy parts of the river. All right, let's go find my mum and uh, my mum and my dog. Mm, this is really pretty too. So if I turn around, there's a waterfall from up there somewhere, and they've kind of redirected it down this channel, which makes me wonder if at some point there was a a mill here, and this is like a mill sluice. You know what they would use to power looks very similar to ones I've seen back in England. They use them to power the mills, obviously, because they don't have electricity. Um, oh yeah, uh, I don't think you can see all the way up there. That is the top of the portion of the palisade right there. So yeah, the Cornwallis is a bit mad if he asked me to try and get his troops up there. And then that's the tiny house. It says where the mountain met the river and so I think I think this is that building right there, the Carney House. Quinn I don't even think Quinn is even here anymore. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, the Miles and Holman Mill, so maybe it was a something to do with the mill. Uh, so high, it's crazy high up there. Who's this? Rachel Powell's Powell's. She lived in the house in the Carney house. She was married to James Carney in 1817. Right. Okay, so we walked all the way from the other side and found, I found my mum and Millie. Millie dragged my mum all the way back to the car. She's a bit nervous, Nellie, sometimes. Um, we walked all the way as far as we could going south now and you can just see Manhattan and George Washington Bridge over there in the distance. It's the buildings that we can see from here are actually the buildings that are right around Central Park. That really, really tall one on the right, so skinny. I don't even know how that thing stands up right. But that's um, Central Park South near Columbus Circle. Hello. There she is. Hi. Hello, cutie pie. Are you good girl. Yeah. You want to hang with mummy? 
Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do you want to go back to the car? Yeah. Okay. It's got really windy on this corner. Okay, so we're going to pack it up and um, head somewhere else. But I don't think we'll do any more mudlarking today, but this is kind of fun. Interesting. First time visit here. It's very slippy. They had a super high tide. Um, hopefully I don't end up on my butt. Um, it's first time here, so we'll probably try a few other spots. Go on, Millie. Good girl. We'll probably try and find a few other spots along this stretch between here and George Washington and hopefully find a good a good little honey hole to find some mud and things in. I did get an absolute ton, ton of sea glass. But maybe we'll take a look at that later. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys. And don't forget, if you like our videos, like and subscribe and hit that bell for us so you get notifications of when we get our new videos up. We will probably be having more videos up more regularly now with the weather getting warm. So, yeah, exciting to get out. Oh, what's that? What's this? It's just like a little building. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. It's a dead end. Yeah, so I got distracted by a tunnel. Um, yes, yeah, so if you like our videos, like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.